we need to talk. Yes, I'm in my robe. We need to talk. This book. What? I am not even 100 pages in. I'm literally on page 99. Page 99. Can you see that? Look how much crap I have annotated. So much. Mm, I don't even know where to start. There's already abuse. The grandma already smacked the kids and picked one kid up by her hair and threw her. How crazy is that? I'm just gonna share my thoughts so far. I don't know how much I have to censor. Whatever, I'm not even monetized anyway. I don't think it even matters. The mom, after her husband died, the mom is like, she's so sexual with her kids and I think it's so creepy. Like on one of the parts, as soon as her husband died, mom forgot how to take care of her kids somehow. I haven't fed her kids in days. Is so worried about figuring out where to go that the young, the oldest girl, Kathy, has to take care of the kids now. It's so crazy. And then, like, the way that the mother is so sexual with her kids, like, she literally grabbed um, Christopher and Kathy's hand and put them on her boobs. Like, what? That was weird. Like, that gave me the first ick. Another thing that was weird, she literally made her kids walk in the darkness all night, didn't carry any of the twins. Oh, there's four kids, by the way. In my On my book call, I said three, but there's four. She made the kids walk in the middle of the night, and she, like, gave their suitcases away. It was so weird. So there's already abuse. It's so crazy. How did people read this at a young age? I could not imagine. Anyways, so they're locked in the attic now, and they're waiting all day for their mom to come back. Really crazy. Really sad. They come back and literally the grandmother grabbed a hold of Carrie by the hair, lifting her up to make Corey jump from his mama's lap for no reason, just because the room was a mess. She gave the kid kids like 20 rules to follow. And then she slapped one of the boys. It was uh, Christopher, really crazy. And then she's already just threatening, I will whip you guys until the blood runs from your skin. And then she said, if you guys don't follow the rules, you're going to get what has happened to your mother. And she made her daughter show her, their kid um, all the lashes. But we find out, spoiler alert, we find out that she married ugh, her half uncle. And that's why it's like forbidden her parents disowned her. I would understand disowning your child for marrying your half uncle. But like to this extreme, so now the kids are inside. Kathy is starting to think about bodies, thinking about how Christopher is the man of the house and it's starting to get very romanticized. So I'm like really concerned. Don't know if I'm ready for the like in part, but I don't know. This whole, this whole book is literally just, I don't know. That's where I'm at right now. They had their first day in the attic, already got hit and they're just trying to learn the rules and be quiet and try not to break any rules because God is looking. So, I'm gonna read a little bit. I have to go to work very soon, but I'm gonna try to read like 100 pages. So, I will catch up with you guys later, probably after work, hopefully not, but probably. I finished the book and I have questions. Honestly, I'm feeling annoyed and just what the heck? What the heck happened? And I feel sad, like I feel sad for the kids. I did start to annotate my book, then I got lazy. Just feel like the kids deserve better, which they did. Also, why was the mom wanting to kill her kids? Just why would a mother ever do this to her kids just to get money from her rich parents? It is so crazy. Also, the ending where Kathy is saying that the grandmother is not the bad person, it's their mom. I honestly don't believe that. I really do think the grandmother is also a evil person because she did beat them. She did abuse them. And she threatened these kids saying that they're sinners no matter what. So I'm kind of confused why Kathy basically like forgave. Kathy and Chris basically forgave their grandmother because I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm really sad that Corey died and that basically the mother poisoned her kids so they could die so that she could get money. But I think they're all bad, the mother and the grandmother. And also, her, the grandfather has been dead for nine months. These kids stayed in this attic dying for nine months longer than they should have just because their mother wanted to marry a rich man and forget about her kids and just live in the lap of luxury. 
which is really insane. Okay, so one thing I'm like, I kind of didn't care for is the story being told in a like 12 year old mind. I understand she was like 12 or 13 when this happened, but like it was really hard for me to, to enjoy the reading because it was told at like a child standpoint. I don't, I don't know if you guys understand that, but like, I don't know how to phrase that better. Also, they could have ran away a long time ago, but they, for some reason they didn't, which is really insane. They could have saved themselves earlier and Corey would have lived. The part where Chris and Kathy were going out to the pond to swim at night, why didn't they just get up and take the kids and run away at that point? I wonder if it's because their development was stunted, but not really because Chris is so smart. I'm not sure. This book was an interesting read. I feel sad. <laughs> It's a rainy day today, like so bad. It's been raining for a while and it's so loud. I know these are gonna have this kind of effect on me, but I need to go do something to brighten my mood because I'm feeling really sad. I am gonna watch the movie now, so I might do that later, but also how, how did kids, how did teenager girls read this when they're that age? I would not be able to read this at that age. Like what? I don't know. But yeah, I give this book, I give this book a four stars because I did enjoy it. What I mean by enjoying it is that it was an interesting book to read. It's not like it made me happy to read it, but like I was still interested in the book even though it was very sad. It just left me in a sad mood. Did you guys feel sad after reading this book? Let me know. This is going on to my, my classic section. Now I can figure out what book I'm gonna read next. Thank you guys for watching this short reading vlog. I wanted to do, update you guys more, but yesterday was just, it was it. I didn't really have nothing to vlog, literally. So I just wrote this this morning. It's like three o'clock now so I read over 200 pages and it was really hard that is my review of this book I have a huge stack of dark academia books that I want to read so I'm gonna go through those and get ready to read those I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>